Hey, this is Iron Cowboys back again. Um, my my last video on catabolism didn't really share enough information dispro disproving the um the uh, rate of catabolism and how catabolism happens. Um, pretty much your body is only catabolic when you have zero when you have zero calories to um, use as energy. Um, so say I eat before I work out, um, my body, it, unless I burn through all that food and, um, use all those calories from that food, my body will not become catabolic 45 minutes after workout. Now, if you eat on an empty stomach, you're going to be catabolic while you're working out, um, because your body is going to be burning your fat tissue because that is the first source of energy that your body goes to when out of <clears throat> caloric energy. Um, it's going to go to fat as the prime source of energy. Um, now, the, the myth says that everyone becomes catabolic in 45 minutes. Now, that might be true for some people who burn through most of their calories in their workout but the rate of um, catabolism is different for every person alive depending on how they eat when they eat and how hard their workout is um, now say I go on an empty stomach um, working out high intensity I'm going to be at a very catabolic state because my body is burning more calories than I have so it has to go to fat storage for nutrients. Um, your body is just not going to go to... I mean a lot of people think that when you're catabolic you're burning muscle along with fat. Your body, if you're burning muscle, that's a bad thing. If you're burning muscle you're already in a, in a state where um, Cetosis is pretty near. You have probably about 24 hours to 36 hours before cytosis kicks in. Um, cytosis is when your body starts eating at your kidneys, and then once you go through cytosis, you're pretty much dead. Your kidneys fail, you're eating up your tissue and your kidneys, and that's, that, that's just going to lead to death. Um, but... See, if you have enough fat storage, you don't have to worry about um, going catabolic. Catabolic isn't necessarily a bad thing unless you are at a supreme, ultimate caloric deficit where you don't have enough fat on your body to store your body's, um, to make up for lost calories. And that's, that's when you start burning muscle. That's when you start getting into your um, muscle storage. That's, like I said, that's a complete, just utter disaster when that happens. Your body does not just break down. Your body's not gonna just go to your muscle and break it down. Um, and this whole this whole thing about forty five minutes to catabolism. I mean, like I said, some people that might be true. If your body burns through that. If your body burns through that food during the workout, and then you have maybe a little bit left over to hold to hold you over a little bit past your workout, maybe you have 45 more minutes in the digestion cycle where your body is still breaking down that food, and after it finishes breaking down that food and you're on completely empty stomach, that's when you go into catabolism. That's when your body goes to fat storages. Um, which I don't see that as a bad thing because... Um, well, for one thing, it's not necessarily true for everyone because, like I said, you can eat before a workout, um, burn through, let's say your, let's say your meal was like six to eight hundred calories. Um, say you only burn through two hundred of those calories. You're not going to burn through the rest in 45 minutes necessarily. Um, you're going to have, I mean, it varies for each person is the point I'm trying to make. Um, you're not you're not gonna be able to burn through I said um 
about 600 calories in 45 minutes. That's just not going to happen unless you're working out. Like, when I get done working out, I get in my car, I go home. Um, might eat something if I'm hungry. Might not. That doesn't mean I'm at a catabolic state, but whenever my body does run through those calories, once it does go through the di digestion processes, finish it, finishes it, um, then you'll go into a catabolic state when you have an empty stomach. Um, that's when your body goes into catabolism. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people have a negative view on catabolism. I don't because um, I know that um, your, your body's going to go for fat as the first, as the absolute first thing it goes for is fat, um, because fat is a lot less dense than muscle. I've repeated this so many times that fat is a lot less dense than muscle. Your body's smart, your body knows that. Your body knows that the first thing it can, it can go for with the least amount of energy and <clears throat> a lot more payoff is your fat. That has a lot more nutrients to feed your body than your muscle. Um, now whenever it does that, like I said, if this is over a period of time where you're not eating, like, where you break down your muscle, I mean your fat, to a complete, to a complete deficit, where you have hardly any body fat, your, your body is going to turn on your muscle and start eating at your muscle. Now it's going to take a lot more energy from your body to eat your muscle, that's why you'll feel very weak, um, your body won't be able to do its processes the way it does, and you'll just be completely screwed, um, but unless you're completely starving, now intermittent fasting is not a starving state, it is a period where you do not eat, giving your body time to burn your fat. Now, if you, um, if you do intermittent fasting long enough, I mean like, long enough as in <clears throat> doing the same hours, eating hours, and having the same fasting hours over a period of months, or depending on how, how much body fat you have on you, over time, you'll start to lose fat. Now, you can get down to the point where you have like hardly any fat on you that's when your body will start to go for muscle because it knows that it <clears throat> does not have enough fat to um, support bodily processes processes so then it goes for muscle that I've repeated this so many times that is a bad thing um, that's when you definitely should stop intermittent fasting and start getting your regular eating eating cycle again. Start building up fat so your body has something to burn off of besides your meals. Or just keep doing intermittent fasting and boost your calories per day. Like I'm at somewhere between 16 and 1800 a day. I'm burning a lot of fat, not going through any muscle. Now if you do intermittent fasting and you don't work out constantly, then you'll build a lot of fat and by not using your muscle, it will decrease. I mean, it won't decrease, but it'll, the fibers in your muscle will shrivel and they won't be as strong as they used to be. But I mean, even if you, even if you do get to one of these, um, even if your body does start burning muscle and you eat something, um, muscle is not that hard to regain. Um, I know every summer, Besides this one, I've I haven't I don't I didn't lift over the summers, and I would maybe my max would be I think last year the first year I did weight training it got up to my max was like 175. I came back after that summer of not working out my max was at 155. Now about two one month or two months back in the weight training my max was at 185 190 something like that. Um. But yeah, like, if, if you do build on fat, um, if you have to, I mean, if you're still doing intermittent fasting, you gotta build on fat, then do it, and then burn it off, burn it back off, 
so you don't so your body has some fat to um feed off of when you don't have calories so you don't keep it just a uh really low um body fat index um now marathoners they have a very they have a very low body fat but before they run before they say say a run's coming up about maybe two to three weeks ahead they eat they eat a lot to build on fat because they know that whenever they whenever they run they're not going to be say it's like a I don't know 50 mile run something like that something ridiculous um they're going to need fat because they're not going to be eating during this time period they're going to be running the whole time pretty much maybe a few down times to get some water maybe get some basic calories stuff like that but whenever they do it they build back on the they build back on some fat to burn off of when they do this run um another thing like i said earlier um catabolism is different for every person after a workout um like i said if you i would suggest probably well it depends what you're trying to do if you're trying to keep a constant body weight i would eat um maybe one or two meals before workout so you have enough calories in your body where you're not where you have a lower risk of becoming well if it's a risk for you becoming catabolic um like I said definition of catabolic is where you have no food supply in your system when you have an empty stomach and you're burning the you start burning fat um that's that's not a bad thing for me I like burning fat it gets you really defined cut up um gives you the uh opportunity to use those nutrients in your body fat storages to gain muscle because you're the same thing that makes up your uh your muscle the nutrients from your muscle is the same nutrients that you use for fat it depends how you use those nutrients when you eat um and that's all that's all intermittent fasting is it's using those nutrients that you get to build muscle um that's that's pretty much it like it's not anything risky about it. Um, things to do. A lot of people just don't like becoming catabolic because they believe this myth that it starts burning muscle right off the bat. It takes it takes a a long time for you to start burning muscle. You gotta you gotta burn most of your body fat off before you start burning muscle because. You're, like I said, your body's smart. It knows what it's burning. It knows how to get its nutrients the quickest and the most, most um, energy efficient way. But yeah, that's about it. Um, you know what? Believe, believe what you want to believe, and do what you want to do. Do what works for you. You don't gotta take my advice. I'm just, I'm just giving my take on things, and. uh how it relates to basic basic information like if you believe that you'll become catabolic even if you do eat even if you eat before workout only burning about 2000 of those 6 to 800 calories you won't become catabolic in that workout or in the next 45 minutes you will you will become catabolic maybe a more prolonged period after that once you digest all the digest the rest of those 600 calories um you will become catabolic after that if but it might not it might not only take 45 minutes it might take some people two or three hours depending on how fast their metabolism is going but yeah do what you want to do believe what you want to believe this is my take but yeah that's about it um gonna do a Spartacus workout later, gonna film that, um, I'm gonna show y'all how to get in shape for lifting weights, keep watching.